Welcome to Searching Digital Collections at the Brooklyn Collection. Our digital collections include more than 20,000 historical photographs from the Brooklyn Collection, as well as digitized historic maps and audio and video recordings created by the Brooklyn Public Library and other sources. There are a few ways to get to the digital collections. We can start on the library homepage at bklynlibrary.org. Choose Learn on the left-hand side, and then Online Resources. Our first option on this page is Brooklyn Interest, and I can choose Brooklyn Public Library Digital Collections and then click to view the resource. Our digital collections are free from everywhere. Another way to start off is on the Brooklyn Collection homepage at bklynlibrary.org slash Brooklyn Collection. I can choose Digital Collections from the menu in the center of the page. My third option is just to type the web address into my browser and go directly to Digital Collections at bklynlibrary.org slash digital collections. I can start by browsing featured collections. These are available from the homepage. They have been curated by archivists in the Brooklyn Collection. Featured collections highlight content by individual photographers, photographs of library branches, and more. If I click on one of these options, I'll go straight to a page that shows me everything in that collection. Let's look at the Greenpoint Environmental History Collection. I can see over 300 items in this collection. I have the option to refine my results using facets on the right-hand side. Let's look at newsletters. This gives me nine results. I can click on an item to see it in full. In the case of a newsletter, I'll be able to scroll through the PDF. I can navigate down the web page to read more details about the item, and I also have an option to download the file. I can return to my search results to view other items, and I can click on Digital Collections to return to the main search page. I'm now going to use the main search box to look for material about Canarsie. I'll type Canarsie in the search box and hit enter or click on the magnifying glass. I have 181 results about Canarsie. If I click on an image to view the full record, I can see details about when it was taken and how I should cite this item in my research. I'll also have the option to download the image. Please note that images will download as lower resolution files with a maximum size of 600 pixels on the long edge. You can reach out to us if you need a larger file. If I want to search a phrase, I should put that in quotation marks. I'll try searching for girls high school. My results include a selection of interviews, photographs, and postcards related to girls high school. From the main page, I also have the option to do an advanced search. I can select specific fields to search and add more fields to narrow my search. An advanced search will be helpful if my first search result showed too many options. For example, I may not want to review everything in my Canarsie search result if I only want material from Canarsie in the 1940s. On the advanced search screen, I can choose Place and then select Canarsie in the drop-down menu. Next, I'll click the plus sign to add a field and choose Date, then type 194 asterisk. The asterisk, in place of a zero, lets me find anything from any year starting in 194, which means anything from the 1940s. More search tips on the right side of this screen will give other suggestions for doing an advanced search. I now have 26 results related to Canarsie in the 1940s. This is really manageable as a set of results to look at, and I know that everything here is relevant to my research. Thanks for searching the digital collections with us.